Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to n 100 to, yeah, well, an exciting opening, isn't it? No, not really, it's just a ship that is passing by at the moment and the reason for that is we don't have a lot of harbor defense on that side of the harbor area. Of course, we would like to change this right away since I'm getting attacked there quite often and we do have quite the quite the uh the firepower over there already and of course we can continue over here and look at that the range of course makes it possible i think we will not be needing all of these sandmines here i could even yeah use it like that perfect and with that we can move some of these fire towers over actually we're not moving them over we're rather just going to build them right away and i would like to go ahead with let's make it three of them on that side of the harbor too i'm looking towards the the entrance, the entrance area that we have right like this. Um, with that, defending that area will be fine. Now we are back in, yeah, in Panagos, right? Our growing town. We have a few more building materials again, even though we're still kind of like short on steel beams usually, which is of course required for a lot of things, especially when I'm looking at upgrading all those engineers. Um, it's, we're really severely limited by that. Windows, we have a lot. Bricks is also coming in again at a higher rate, but it is those steel beams. Now there's also here the problem with the school. It's not really a problem. I'm just going to move a bunch of buildings around um, until I meet all the requirements again. And with that, we have then the artisans in this area as well that we can upgrade. We have nighttime once more in a growing town. And of course, there it is we can continue with a bunch more upgrades to engineers. As I continue my way into the deeper um, city area, right? I would like to go ahead. We have 3,500 workers. That is just way too much. And of course, we continue with upgrading them to the next level, um, as especially they give me taxes. That's what we need, as we are also pushing towards the mid 30,000s um, that we have in the city. Now, what could we do here um, right now? I want to boost my steel beams production, of course. We're producing eight per minute right now, and this is not enough at all. Now, problem is we are also severe. Oh, wait a second. Is there a bigger attack? No, it's just my main fleet that is guarding Eli um, with some clippers here and there. Oh, guarding some, some of my clippers here. All right, and we can probably have a look at the loot that the admiral is dropping what he's got some 18 tons of advanced weapons how much is that worth 170,000. that would be worth it i don't know if i really want to sell it honestly i mean it would pay for some nice items that we could get out of here right we're at 800,000 after all um and with that spending a bit of money on items is always something that is very costly in the beginning we already get some cannery items available to us that we could use also the artisanal kitchen fish cannery production here oh yeah attacks intensify a bit but as we can see we're still a bit unlucky there this is actually a good one because it gives me that productivity boost uh, the maintenance cost is not really the problem but it's still not a perfect item we're getting attacked once more oh it was the Admiral once more getting closer here. As we can see, they're building up some bigger fleets. Probably need to be careful there um, if there isn't a surprise attack coming in. We're still a bit shielded by the pirate there from time to time, which is helping me out a bit. Let's get those clippers out there a bit because we do need the space. Now, it is all about my steel beams production. As we can see, we are already pretty limited by the steel, right? The problem also is that we are limited by the ore that we get in. Now, I do have this island here that provides some ore. That's about it. We have this one with some coal. Well, that would be fine. And then the other islands usually have around one to none. So this is not something I can really feasibly do. So, of course, the Docklands will have to work again at some point. Um, over here, I am getting all of that in with the, the sewing machines. And I would like to continue on this route now with the the iron ore that we get in, right? So we can make it so that we, we get... Um, we're exporting, so let's just have a look at that. The sewing machines for iron ore. And as we can see, with just 50 tons, we can get over 400 tons of iron ore in, which is amazing. But why are you doing this all the time? Stop with that. It will get you to nowhere. And Harlow, I mean, weren't we at ceasefire? 
We're at war again. Interesting. I mean, we are at 45 points there with her. All right, let's try the peace treaty. 700,000. That is not something I want to pay. So she will, she will have to make the proposal there again. Perhaps she's doing it after a while, but holy cow. We have a very good reputation with her and still she does not like us. Let's go ahead and build us some uh, three more furnaces over here in the industrial zone because I can, of course, continue consuming now. Ah, you know what? Let's build a fourth one there right away to get all of them cracking. And with that, we can counter the increased ore consumption that we have. Let's also get me a clipper because one of those islands that I've seen, and I think it's this one, has the four coal deposits, right? And we're allowed to settle on the islands around us here for production purposes. We're not going to build up another city or something, but I'm going ahead with, um, of course, opening up some more productions for me. And with that, let's go ahead and also some steel beams, the remaining ones. I think there's no attack coming that way. Ah, it's the pirate, of course, that we are at war with now. Ooh, the island is actually not that great. Look at that. It has only this beach area there, and that's it. The primary area is actually looking away from us, facing away from us. Like this. So this might be a bit of a problem. We need my fleet for that. All right. Even though I do... Yeah, it's also tricky. I don't want to spread them out a bit too much there. Where's my shipyard? We don't need to produce more warships there. No steel beams. Okay, let's actually increase productivity for my steelworks uh, by 50%. We can reduce it on the on the weapons there. Uh, this will not modify happiness, so I'm not doing this at all. It's really all about the steel beams that are giving me the major penalty here. Um, negative 6 is still fine though, right? It's only at 0 now with the workers. We could have a look at them, why some of them are not entirely happy. Perhaps we can open up something for them. Um, that would give them happiness. Unfortunately, though, mm, cheese, some beef that would not increase happiness at all. So we can only check out if there is anyone with no church um, coverage, right? It's not a lot, really. So these guys here all have the church coverage. In fact, all of them have all the needs fulfilled. So there's not that much I can do. There probably could be another another chapel here, or let's build a church. In this area after all we do have the space and let's push them over we can make some room in this area let's actually move these down so that we can get us a nice sexy church right in here into the center looking of course towards the harbor area i mean it will also make sense to look towards the the marketplace i guess but this will be fine uh 200 farmers yeah a bunch of them we can upgrade not a lot though it just needs to make sense a bit when it comes to the city districts then all right hmm we i think we are actually full on coal anyway and iron yes we are and let's actually also go ahead and increase my storage capacity a bit i think we have some space over there that we could use we could also use the docklands for that i think i think that would be better because that provides me 100 tons every time plus 15 um on the attractiveness level right so it makes a bit more sense to use the the depots for that and we can actually build one here um and then we probably go out like yeah could go like this making a wing into this area and here we could have another export office or something like that at the end of this area and then we also need to make sure that we do have the the loading wharfs because the more we import and export the less or the more time it takes of course as well for for these here for the ships to load and unload yeah we gotta be careful about those ships they're trying to get over <laughs> and they're turning around again but i think they actually targeted my my main fleet here all right, which would be, of course, devastating. Let's get that clipper to Arch. There's no pirate here right now. We can use this. Unfortunately, this island is really circled around by pirates. A bit tough over there, but we have some steel beams. Let's build another warship. Get this out. And get this to Archie. Selling the gold and then 
Archie should actually have, yep, 150 tons of steel beams available there too. There's a bit of fighting again over there. Destroying one of the Admiral's ships would be an easy target. 20,000 for the gold, thank you very much. And let's purchase the steel beams for the 20,000 there again. And let's actually get over there quickly before the Admiral's ships actually gets closer. In that case, it's just a patrol. It's not going to destroy any of my ships. But the steel beams will help me a bit with boosting my economy. Because that's the re or the, the, the most important thing, of course, right now. We can use some of my power there as well to upgrade some people. I will also think about a bank at some point now, because we have enough engineers to warrant that. A bank is very expensive, right? And we definitely will need one. And as we can see, uh, fortunately for us, the range is huge for it. And we can use one of the bigger fountain blocks for uh, the bank right away. So it... it exactly matches almost the the space that it needs and i think this bank here would already be fine right we don't need 100 percent coverage on everything and i rather waste a bit of that for getting more central we will only need one bank than here we could also move a bit further down i guess here getting interrupted by a sudden pirate attack once more let's move them out there a bit Oh, she's also on the other side. We don't just need to take down one ship or two, hopefully, to for her proposing the ceasefire again. We should be stronger. No, she actually caught up. She's actually stronger than us again, military-wise. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We need to probably build more harbor defenses. This one's down. Oh, some weapons. I'll take it. Uh, this is... This is dangerous. These surprise attacks completely catches me off guard every time. Uh, we have some steel beams again. Let's build another warship. Let's actually build three warships right away as we can do this just fine. Uh, we're still in the process of building that bank. I would like to move a few buildings around still. So we're creating a new block over there. And uh, these workers can also disappear a bit further away. So that I'm getting a bit more space in here like this. And then probably also those guys here. Because I would like to... Yeah, I would like to make this a bit more beautiful than usual. Uh, a bank is a very stately building, right? So we definitely want to have something here. So this is where we could have the bank. And as we can see, the coverage is beautiful. And we'll just see now the tax income that this provides. Also the happiness. Negative 12 on the engineer side. And 23,000. Um, pushes to 22,000 now. And with that, it goes up to... Yeah, 28,000. And the happiness goes to negative 8 only. So, yeah, it's a win-win, really, in both directions. And as we can see, we can make something nice out of out of this front here and out of the main area, the main front that we have then over there with probably a nice, cute little fountain or something like that. Hmm, you know what? Actually, I like the equestrian statue there quite a bit, right in front of it. it symbolizes power and wealth. Right, and then we have, hmm, that we already have the fence ornaments, so I could go around like this, and then make the longer, um, the longer fountains that we have. Boy, I never really oriented again after the, the big overhaul of the ornaments. It's much simpler to actually building sorting type, to type, right? And with that we have the fountain category, and there we have the fountain square then. Otherwise it would be just really hard to, to get this done. Now there it is, a, another fountain area right and probably then in here we could have just some double road really leading to the to the bank so that we have a proper entrance there as the sun is rising once more we have a beautiful new landmark building honestly it's the biggest one that we had so far bigger than the university for sure where people can do their businesses on the back we might just have some smaller entrance right and there is actually here the the engineer residences that we have. So this is the back entrance to the bank. Um, and there's also a nice little fountain area then that we have. Perfect. By the way, we have a quest over there. A resident quest from investors? Last time I checked, we don't have investors yet. All this running around the city has left me starving. It is sure beautiful here, but how can I enjoy anything with a rumbling stomach? If only I could savor the view with a juicy piece of local meat. What do you want exactly? Eight tons of fish. The investor wants some fish. This is actually totally new. 
course, we're going to hand it in the quest. And we're also getting... Oh, alright, we get sausage next. Now I think it's time for the main course. And this is the yummiest fish that I've ever had. Now he wants beef. We don't have 8 tons of beef available. Ah, we have 4 tons of beef avail available. So where's my cattle farms? Over here. Let's go ahead and build some two more. We are going to need them anyway now. So it's why not just do it now? The cattle farms and the surplus we can use them right away for this quest here. This is a quest line, a quest journey that we have. So I can't, I can't see the reward yet. There is a bigger reward at the end of it. So we'll just see what this investor also wants after that. Now, for the bigger things that we actually need to do now, and that is, of course, if you probably, well, figured it out by now, we do need electricity. It's also one of the big demands that my engineers still have, right? So after that, it's only the light bulbs, and that's an easy peasy um, product. It's all about electricity, which is going to be a bigger investment. All of this while the pirate tries to attack again. My, 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 wait, I don't have a repair crane that far outside. Let's go ahead and build us one of these bad boys, probably here. And yes, I know I'm not the biggest expert on harbor beauty for now, especially when under pressure. I can't, I just can't plan a harbor area when I know there's big fleets coming towards me all the time. So off they go. And I'm just waiting for that ceasefire proposal that hopefully happens at some point now. Not as long as we haven't destroyed a few more ships. And she has a lot of ships in the area right now. And building more, it seems. Okay, a ship is going down from the pirate once more. And this time we get the 80,000 payment for ceasefire. I'm going to accept. And now we can use some of that money again to purchase the shares of the other opponents. Something I would like to do to further boost my income, of course, and also put a bit of pressure on them. The money is fine. It's actually not that expensive for main islands at this point. Ah, Princess Ching is the most valuable one. Um, we also get an influence bonus here of the unifier with that. Thanks to investing a bit. Getting a bit more workforce. That is actually a surprise. I think we might not even need a commute pier then for my coal island. Of course, now with the pirates no longer attacking us, I can safely get to this island over here and finally settle it. And this will be then a nice coal island that we have here. Four coal deposits is just perfect. And I'm also, of course, taking that iron deposit with me um, so that we get another four tons of iron in every minute. This is going to be a very important trade route for us. Um, as that exists. The, yeah, Admiral is taking a bigger circle around my my island now. For the Admiral, of course, there is the problem, right? That he is over there and he needs to get to the new world via Panagos, more or less. So he now needs to take a bigger uh, route for that, which of course is, well, making me happy a bit. Now, Samson, a new warship comes out. We need to really up my navy a bit. And we have the beef. There it is, also with the meat lover. Next up, what? He wants bread. All right, let's provide. And... Damn right, that's the stuff so juicy and tender it melts in the mouth. It just needs a nice crispy brown toast on the side. And... He continues to offer me quests. The content creator. And the visitor introduced himself as Dennis Brahman, a content creation specialist who says he can amass plenty of subscriptions for your newspaper if you'll just take a picture of one of a pig farm store on alongside his article. Why? Let's try it out. He wanted all my meat. Now he wants to take pictures of the meat farms. We'll just see where this leads us. Has been taken. All right, let's eat the town. Join Dennis Brahman in his culinary adventures as he discovers local delicacies. You'll never believe the fourth one. This is actually, I mean, in all my years, I've never seen this questline before. Is that a new one? Interesting stuff. And he continues to give us quests. The gang reunited. Ah, Dennis Argo was a complete success. He's come to like you and your island a lot. So he's invited his whole group of friends to visit as well. Help him find him at the pub and find the Piet's Meat, uh, the Piet's Meat Gang. So this is a German YouTuber. And where is it? Over there. There they are, singing and laughing. 
and looks very similar to said content creator. And we get Dennis Brahman, the food critic. All farmers and worker residences gain a bonus income. And what was the last one that we needed here? Oh, that it actually provided uh, bonus happiness from pops and also bonus supply with bread, sausage and fish when they're actually um, supplied with the pop. And you know what? Let's actually use this bugger. There we have nice little space in here um, that I would like to use for a town hall, my first one that we have so far. Um, we can, yeah, nicely use it like this beside the chapel so that it also has its nice special entrance. And of course, it has the surrounding area of a lot of workers here and farmers who might actually upgrade them as well. And all of them, of course, have the pop. Um, happiness fulfilled as well so the item goes into full effect here and let's boost them up with that hooray there it is getting some bonus happiness now which we actually need quite a bit since my farmers and workers are not the happiest bunch and the workers gained a bit of that also bonus supply i like that because it reduces my consumption of sausage fish and bread with all of these people in the radius here and i'm not expected to um or i'm not expecting to upgrade these guys um very well shortly Let's upgrade some more workers here. We still have a lot of them that we can push. And as we can see, that's the stuff right over here as well in this whole center around the bank, right? So the bank is my centerpiece there for now for upgrading people close to it. We can also upgrade these guys here to artisans. So that's another nice mass upgrading thanks to having a lot of steel beams in store again. And we probably should also make this right here for some reasons it switched around the letters with that we are only at thousand workers we have of course full-fledged rights over here which is reducing my my workforce so let's get us another police station right in here hopefully they will deal with whatever problem arises and i just love how the fire my uh, firemen actually pushed through the crowd and they were pushed away and look at that they must really hate the person living in there as they're throwing torches at it. Now for my industry zone, I need to juggle things around a bit as I want to get my, my train system now down into the harbor area. For that, we are now going to move some of the lower productions further away. So up here into the mountain area, there is a perfect location for some additional industries that we can have we can also separate them with a nice uh wall then to my people let's actually have the bakeries closer yeah or we can have the bakeries on the other side or i'm just pushing them a bit further like that this will also work we have another triple road here just in case we want to get a train up there at some point but at the moment i have no plans of such let's have them like this we will definitely need some warehouses. And I would also like to, just for the heck of it really, give us a nice industrial wall here to wall this district off from my normal people. So we probably could do it here. That we, yep, perfect. So that we can still have then a, another bunch of buildings then here. Probably some more bakeries and stuff like that. I'm not expecting to boost them ever, right? Because you really don't need a lot of bread. So we can just basically squeeze them in here and make lots of room in the industry zone where we prepare, of course, a lot of space and infrastructure for the higher tier productions that we're going to need here at some point. Let's also move the rendering works away. I really have no use for them anymore. And we're probably going to completely outsource them with the Docklands at some point anyway. By the way, also very important, I should not forget about my clipper to settle on this new island that we have over there. Not the best weather for it, but at least it's done. And we do get 100 workers out of that. We're not going to make a city here. Rather, I'm going to get some more building materials over to build me a commute pier. We have the influence spare for that, right? 300 at the moment, which is a lot. And for that... Oh yeah, look at that. She pushes it back. We do need some reinforced concrete windows and steel beams. And that's it then. And then we can have a commute pier in the area. And I don't need to worry about building up yet another city which i really don't like let's get the, uh, all of this over it's quite a lot really a commute pier is quite expensive and i think uh, some more bricks 
that we're going to need. I will also send another clipper. We might also make a frigate. No, let's get the clipper getting some more weapons over because of course we need to fortify this island a lot. Problem with this island definitely will be that it actually has no good harbor position really, right? So over there we could actually push it. But what would it give us? Nothing really. The range is not the best. Hmm. So now that I think about it, this looks promising. Yeah, we might actually we might actually block this corridor. We could try this, getting those towers over. Unfortunately, the harbor radius is not fine, not the best. But yeah, let's actually do this. Let's move the let's move it over there, right? Let's move it to the other side of this island, and we can then actually try to make a block a blockade there somehow not going to be a very efficient blockade because there's still some room in between but it's definitely going to make it hard for the enemy to approach Eli especially also the pirate then at some point if I have them over here there's just this tiny corridor now open where my enemies could get their ships through but that is very narrow so there's a high chance to get attacked while moving down we can we can try this unfortunately yeah, there is no other beach area available. So nothing I can do there. Let's get the clippers to the new harbor area for this island. We still need to give it a proper name. And we're going to call it Mellow Island. After one of my supporters, Mar Mellow. Thank you very much for your support. And Mellow Island is not going to be a city or anything. It's just going to provide me with raw materials. But that's going to be very important as well. All right, in the new world, it's Sean once more. I'm really neglecting the new world at the moment, but that's to be understand, or well, understood because there's nothing really of value I can do here right now. And in my priority list, Panagos is higher, so we're pushing a bit more. I just need to make sure that we always have a proper defense lined up here. And I think, yeah, we could actually go for some more towers. Look at that. A bunch of them. And also here, since we do have quite a lot of weapons over now too. Very good. That was a lot of additional defenses here. And that gives me also the influence bonus of the first Sea Lord. Holy cow. I'm honored. 33% uh, attack speed, I think, to my ships. Meanwhile, my clippers arrive and we're still not having electricity. I'm baffled. Problem is we're really busy with the other things. We can also build the the flamethrowers here then with the weapons unfortunately it will need a, a few more steel beams right i think we can build one more perfect there you go and upgrading that trading post will also be important now we have the shared workforce let's get the clippers back home let's just unload everything for it good so we're going to get some more materials than over and while they are on the way let's have a look at all these deposits we have the coal deposit the iron deposit and there's two more coal deposits here. Unfortunately, they're a bit further away from each other. So we're going to need to have several warehouses. But that's only 10 tons of timber. We need to waste on that. This one we can share. Very good. At least we have one of these. And up here, we can then have two... No, it is a copper, coal. This is copper. Uh, we're going to need copper anyway as well in higher quantities limestone ah, and coal again so they're really spread out this one this one should work with one warehouse let's build the coal mine let's build this coal mine right we have the workforce let's build this iron mine and there's another coal mine very good so that's a whole bunch of new coal coming in i think this last one up here we should also make use of my should we call it Empire? Let's call it for my city, for Panagos, that is. I'm a bit afraid of Miss Hunt at this point. It's looking nasty over there, but we are still far away from her. That's our biggest advantage right now. Let's create a new trade route for the new coal and iron that is coming from Mellow Island now. And Mellow Island is also in a very vulnerable position, honestly. It is... If there is a big attack coming at some point, and I tell you it is... 
uh, then we're probably looking at Mallow Island being my bulwark before Panagos gets attacked. So that's also something cool. As long as we have some islands surrounded by Panagos, I'm not expecting a full attack on Panagos. Rather, we have the smaller islands, Tovi and Mellow Island now, and they're going to protect us um, first, right? So they're going to be the first target, most likely, before the major fleet moves on then. And of course, we could then also work on upgrading those defenses here for that impending attack that at some point will have to come. Now, in that case, we are not really that much further with the electricity. I continue now to move my, my basic industries over, right, where we don't need so many of them. The breweries are probably... Actually, let's keep them here because I would like to boost them with electricity. We don't need to do that with the slaughterhouses, nor with the, the bakeries, right, because that is just... The bakeries we might use them for some boosting for chocolate, but even that is questionable at this point. Making a bit of room, moving a few things around, and then we probably will make a big central train line that goes all the way from the oil fields down here to the Hoyle Arbor. And with that, we can then finally start boosting that industry zone, and then we're skyrocketing those numbers. Stay tuned.